it's been so long since I've done a little video and I feel like I have so much good news and some, I don't want to say it's bad news, some not such good news or, and there are so many things that are off the needles right now. So I just thought it'd be a good chance to share and get back on track. I'm not in the algorithm apparently anywhere, but I still feel like I, I still want to do these wee videos and, and share and I love connecting with other women and other creatives around the world and that's fun. So, um, so I have to talk fast because <laughs> it's warm today in Donegal, believe it or not, and I'm going to die if I don't get these layers off. I, I dressed in layers so I could do a little fashion show for you. So the first thing is my Shift Cowl by Andrea Mowry of Drea Renee Knits. And it's in Spin Cycle yarn and dyed in the wool. And there are three different colorways. And um, I just love it. It's so squishy and it was so fun and it was the first time that I ever um, I ever did mosaic knitting and it's nice it just keeps it going and keeps it interesting and you just want to get to the next color and so that was that was really fun and I posted this on Instagram but the very first time I put it on <laughs> I got it all styled with my um, with my denim jacket and and this, you know, this gray merino dress that I have. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's so fabulous. <laughs> and it is. So this is, this is it. And it's just really lovely. I think I probably could have done a little bit of a better job. That looks like a weird seam right there. But I'm crazy about it. Everyone who's seen it is crazy about it. And, um... I wish I could knit a hundred of them because they're so they're so cool. So then I also made um, a a weekender, the weekender by Andrea Mowry, and this is um, I'm not prepared for this sweater, this jumper. This was in um, Studio Donegal yarn. That's that's what it is. And that was for a knit along and I finished it and I was so excited. And in the meantime, I made a pair of DRK Everyday Socks. And this is from Woolly Mammoth Fiber Company, the, the colorways in the wool. And I think this is just my new favorite color combination ever. I just love it. I'm not happy with my bind off. It's a little bit too tight. So I'm trying to get up the courage, honestly, to frog that and add a little bit more and bind off looser. My pelvic floor is too tight, ladies, and my bind offs are too tight. So that was exciting. That was an exciting, and I, it was fun to be part of a knit along. I had never done that before, and just the community and the connection. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed supporting other women and I really enjoyed other women helping me. I actually made some mistakes with this sweater that ended up being really fortuitous. Like I I ended up adding length to the torso, but I did it after I separated for the sleeves, not really realizing. And that actually worked out really well because I felt like I had enough extra room in my arm in my armpit <laughs> and um yeah and then I had room in my boobs so that was really good it's it's really big um and I think my gauge could have been a little bit tighter but it's so cozy and so lovely and I really really love it now my next reveal <laughs> I'm really excited about because I this is something that I've been working on it's got, it's got to be at least a year and a half. And I think it might be longer than that. And it was supposed to be my first sweater, but the, um, my weekender ended up being my first sweater that I ever finished because I could not get through with this other one. Um, it was, 
I the pattern is so pretty and it's just so it's such a lovely sweater but I had a lot of problem with the wool I, I ordered a kit from a, a dyer in the UK and it was just one thing after another and I honestly didn't think I would ever finish it because I ended up being so unhappy with it but this is the Ashmore sweater by Unwind Knits and um I'm sorry, unwind knitwear. And gosh, isn't that the, just the most beautiful yoke and the most beautiful colors? Um, I had a lot of problems. I mean, I know this is this is a possibility when things are dyed, right? That, you know, by hand, that they're always not going to match. But the main color in it, like there's one, there was one ball that was, it was like a yellow base and then the other ball was more like a, a blue base and so it doesn't match I'm not gonna stand up and show you <laughs> I definitely have a line but I think if um I think if I'm walking down the street or you're talking to me you're not going to really notice it very much so I finished it I didn't think that I would because I ended up being so upset about the whole thing and like I said it was one thing after another but I love it and so it's so pretty so I think there's a knit along going on and I think that's part of what inspired me to just just get it done just get it done and now I'm glad I did because now I can wear it I went for a little walk last night and I wore it out for my little walk and it was just perfect so that was really nice and um, now I'm working on Rift by Jacqueline C. Slick slack I'm not sure how to pronounce it I'm sorry about that and the wool the yarn that I'm using is called Alino by BC Garn and it's a linen cotton yarn and it was a kit again I don't know I don't know how I'm going to like it but we'll see it, it's really not something you know you'd have to wear a tank under it and but maybe just throw it over um, a tank and a pair of yoga pants for yoga or something it'll be okay yeah so I'm excited about that and she the the pattern is just brilliant because there are so many different ways that you can modify it and customize it and make it your own and I think that's really lovely and it's so size inclusive too and I think you know, I just really want to support artists who are working like that so that's really those are exciting things and um, my sister's birthday is almost here, and I'm supposed to make my sister a little needle felted gnome. And I think I started the armature a long time ago, and I have not picked it back up. So her birthday gift is obviously going to be late, but I've got to just put the needles aside for a little bit and focus on that and, um, and get that finished. So those are the exciting, crafty things that I'm doing. And guess what I'm doing? I'm taking a spinning class, a one-on-one -on -one workshop with somebody who's fairly local. It's only, she's only like an hour from me and I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And, um, I really don't have room for a wheel, <laughs> but I could at least learn how to spindle, spin and get started and go from there. I have new sheep in, in the back and, um, the farmer is he told me that he will bring me a fleece so I'm really excited to learn how to process a fleece from start to finish and it's great timing and I feel really lucky so I don't think I'm not gonna get a fleece from these guys who are back there because they're not due to be shorn or clipped as they say here <laughs> until the winter time um, but I'm still loving them up in the meantime and giving them nuts and they're really cute. They come running and two of them were babies, were just wee lambs that were here in the spring. And I recognized them when they came back and they recognized me. And the first time I went outside, the two, two of them came running to me. This really gets the oxytocin flowing, oh my gosh. So those are my, those are my good exciting news items and um, I'm also going to do a little clip with a midwife who's local here 
and we're going to focus on um, her baking and the way that she creates and expresses herself through her baking. So that'll be nice. The um, news that I can't decide <laughs> what it is without, you know, so I won't bother labeling it, but I'm not really working um, as a midwife anymore in the conventional sense. I am not working on a ward in the hospital, and I'm not, um, so I'm not serving women during their pregnancy. Now, midwife means with women, with women, and in the States where I trained and worked for so long, midwives served women all throughout their lifespan. So we, um, you know, I remember when I was in private practice anyway, my youngest client was 14, and um, she came to talk to me about maybe thinking about having sex and everything. And, you know, so we got get, we got started with all of that. And then my oldest client was 86. And she came to me. <laughs> God bless her. She came to me because she would have um, just a touch of urinary incontinence after her evening tea. I remember her so fondly. <laughs> Jen Williamson, if you're watching this, you'll know who I'm talking about, I think. Um, so, anyway, in the States, we served women all throughout their life, and not just during pregnancy. And so, that is who I am. You know, in my core, I I serve women. And um, I still am serving women. I'm, I'm working in the colposcopy clinic now. Colpo colposcopies are what women would get if they've had an abnormal smear or an abnormal pap smear, as we say in the States, um, and they've tested positive for the human papillomavirus. And it's something that I've always actually really been interested in and something I always thought that I would learn how to do in the States. So I love it. I love learning something new. I, um, I find it very interesting. I love serving women in that way. Um, I really miss working with women more one-on-one -on -one. and of course I miss pregnant pregnancy and serving women in labor and supporting women through labor and I really miss catching those sweet babies <laughs> and passing them up to their mamas with it. And um, yeah, so I, you know, I have so many ideas in my head um, about what to do, but I've had some health problems. Uh, I was really sick in January of 2021, and I really kind of went downhill after that, and I've had lots of things come up, and it just wasn't well for me to work, work nights or work 13-hour shifts, and so something had to give, and, um, you know, I was thinking... I was thinking before I made this video about what's next. And I was also, I love to think about where we are in the, in the cycle of the year. And that's how I trained in yoga with the Celtic School of Yoga and, and following Mario Kennedy and um, the Celtic Wheel. And, you know, we're in, we're in Lunasa now. We're in harvesting. The, har the time of the harvest, right? The celebration just before the harvest when we work so hard and, and gather all that we've sown. And, you know, in a way I think about all the work that I've done with women over 20, 22 years. And it gives me some comfort to think about all of that work in a little cauldron <laughs> just stewing right now just sorting itself out and um, and who knows who knows how that will taste when it's done who knows what it will look like and um, and I can welcome ease in that and and welcome the joy of some new beginning some new creation harvesting all that I've all the work that I've done all the service that I've given to women, all the, the joy and the beauty and the hard work that I've walked with women 
along our sides during this time and and it's just sitting there stewing and figuring out the harvest, figuring out what's next. <laughs> so my midwife love is to be patient with that. To be patient with be patient with the harvest. Trust. Trust in the harvest. And um yeah. It's not really the time of starting new beginnings, but we'll see what comes of it. We'll see what comes of it and see see where I'm called to next and and what can come. And um for any of my midwife friends, I know so many of my midwives who aren't catching babies, aren't serving women during pregnancy anymore. We're still midwives, right? We're still with women. And it's just like in our cellular makeup. <laughs> yeah. So it is who we are and it just looks different for so many of us. It looks it looks different eventually and it doesn't always look the same. And I feel so stinking blessed that I have served women in a way that I have, you know, that I, I have had the absolute, absolute joy of having a community midwifery practice where I could serve women all throughout their lifespan in the way that spoke to them and in the way that they needed. I'm so lucky. <laughs> So blessed for that. So, all that goodness is in my cauldron, <laughs> stirring around, and um, and we'll see how it tastes when it comes to the table. <laughs> so, thanks for spending this time with me. I hope you've delighted in my creations as much as I have, and um, 